Alright, what's up people? Video number two on its way. Uh, we're gonna make a beat and we're also gonna pass along a little life lesson uh, that I found. Um, so with starting out with making music, uh, I always thought I needed the best equipment right away. I thought I needed uh, Machine MK2. Uh, I thought I needed the Push 2. Um, but one of the things I've realized, you need the drive in yourself. You need the passion. You need the ability to sit with something even though it might be hard at first. Uh, and it took me a while to figure that out because I would get new equipment I'd be like, why isn't the music coming? You know, and so what I found is to limit myself and to still make something beautiful in that. Um, so we're gonna do something a little different. We got a fire escape at this apartment that I'm staying at and I'm gonna sit out there with my headphones and gonna use whatever samples that I may have on my computer already and just go with that. Um, so I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you take away something and maybe try something new with your own uh, creative pursuits in your life. Uh, so I hope you enjoy everything and let's get to it. If you don't know me, I am the most clumsy person um, I've probably ever met. So sitting on this fire escape is probably not the best idea. But hey, we're gonna get to it anyway. And it's gonna be a lot of fun.
All right, so we did it. The beat is done. Uh, the transitions are a little wonky there at the end because I didn't have that much time to be working out there. Um, but I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not gonna show me chopping up the Alan Watts sample just because I was just going off of what I liked from it. And that was kind of the longest process. I think it took about 20 minutes. Um, but I hope you enjoy that. If you wanna check out the full talk, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Uh, but let's get back to the beat and I'm gonna just show you how everything ended up. So then let's consider first of all, what is a mind in the grip of vicious circles? Well, one of the most obvious instances that we all know is the phenomenon of worry. Since worrying takes away your appetite and your sleep, it's not good for you. But you can't stop worrying, and therefore you get additionally worried that you are worrying. And then, furthermore, because that is quite absurd, and you are mad at yourself because you do it, you are worried because you worry because you worry. That is a vicious circle. So now, can you allow your mind to be quiet? times when you simply must stop thinking. Allow your mind to be quiet. So, in the same way as a muddy, turbulent pool quiets itself when left alone, you have to know how to leave your mind alone. It will quiet itself. By the way, one pair of pants were definitely harmed in the making of this video. I didn't realize that they were so wet outside. Dang it. Oh, well.